How's it going, you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Solar, and today I want to quickly run you through when and how to use inline fuses for your DIY solar system. Now, we have an EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 doing a lot of work over here. It's bringing 2,400 watts in from two different solar inputs, and it's also giving out 3,400 watts. Now on both of those different solar inputs, I'm utilizing inline fuses. So I show you what type of wiring configuration justifies needing inline fuses, and then what specifications do we need to know about those panels to make sure we're sizing those fuses correctly. So let's jump into it. So looking at the schematic of my setup, and we'll also look at the actual components, not just at drawn out here. We have the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3, and that has two different inputs. Like we said, it has a solar high voltage and then a solar low voltage. The top set up here with six solar panels, 360 watt helium solar panels, that goes to the high voltage side. And then I have bifacial panels, Trina bifacial panels, 395 watts, and I have three of those here. Right away, if you just have a simple setup, maybe just this string of three panels and they're all wired in series, you're good to go. You do not need inline fuses. You can leave the video right now and not really have to worry about it. It's when we start to bring things together in parallel. So this top portion here is an example of series parallel. We have three panels brought into series and three panels brought into series. And then those two strings are brought into parallel here before going into the high voltage side of the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. And then on the bottom, it's just a straight up parallel wiring configuration. So in this case, when it's parallel wiring, we do need to consider if we need those fuses. And there's a few specifications you need to look at. Now, if you have parallel, like I do, I have it on both of these different inputs, you're gonna need a few specs. Look on the back of your solar panel and you're gonna find a little spec sheet and that's gonna give you two critical pieces of information you need. One is gonna be your short circuit current, usually denoted by ISC, and the other is gonna give you some type of fuse rating. Usually this is like fast acting fuse or maximum fuse rating and that rating, that amperage is always gonna be above your short circuit current. So looking at the helium 360 watts for the short circuit current, I'm looking at 9.41 amps. And then for that fuse rating, we're looking at 15 amps. And then for the Trinas, we're looking at 12.21 amps for the short circuit current, and then a fuse rating of 25 amps. With those specifications, now we'll determine, do we need fuses? And what you do is just look at how many branches do I have, and then look at your short circuit current two branches here. So I'd take 9.41 plus 9.41 across those two different branches. Now that's going to give me 18.82, which is more than my 15. So if I had a failure, if I had a short circuit failure, that current might be looking for the path of least resistance. And we do not want to overload any one of those branches with that 18.82 amps which we know 15 amps is what it would be rated for. So we must put a fuse right there. So this is where I would be placing my inline fuses, and then I'd bring those together in a branch connector, kind of fill that guy in. These would be 15 amps, and then I'd be able to connect that right up to my EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 in this case. Now this can look as simple as this, where you have two of your inline fuses, 15 amps, into a simple branch connector. So that could be placed right there. You might have, like I do, I have a DC isolator on this actual circuit, so I can shut things down, reconfigure, turn them back on. I switch it around to the Delta Pro 3, my, my Delta Pro Ultra, a few different configurations, but it can be as simple as that. Now looking at the bottom here, we're gonna bring three branches together. So that's 12.21 times three. We are well over the 25. If we only had two of these coming together, technically that would be under the 25. So we'd have parallel wiring configuration between two panels and we would not need any inline fuses. But here we do. So I'm just gonna place those again, right here at my positive wires coming in. I would want to size these to 25 amps. And then I put that in some type of connector here and then connect that up 
in this case, to the low side of the Delta Pro 3. So hopefully that helped you out and give you a little better idea of when to be using these inline fuses. Now, if you have any questions, jump down in the comments, let me know. Remember, this is kind of DIY setups. If you're looking to offset your monthly power bill, that's probably a professionally installed system. You can start where I did last year, and that is a link in the description just to get an idea on pricing and size. How many kilowatts of panels did I need to completely offset my monthly bill? For me, that was 11 kilowatts, and I was able to get that installed up and running, and now I only have a minimum amount of charges per month coming in from the electrical side of my power bill. Now, if wiring series, parallel series, parallel was kind of confusing to you, check out this video right here. I'll walk you through the complete examples of each of those three different configurations. If you want to see the Delta Pro 3 with the extra battery and also the smart generator 2 really backing up my home in a blackout scenario, check out this video right here. We'll walk you through that complete setup. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on one of those next ones. Take care.